Okay, today I want to talk about three mats. We're going to put in three mats uh, this week, and I want to go from the linebackers to the rovers to the corners and then the free safety. Okay, hopefully I can answer all the questions, but if you have questions, uh, just uh, hit me up with a text. All right, so linebacker play in, in three mats. We're talking about pass responsibilities first. So um, the initial read is once we recognize pass, that it is pass, if the A back is blocking, okay, linebacker is going to step, check their gap, check their gap. Once they recognize pass, he's going to open at a 45 to their side. He's going to open at a 45 to their side and check for low wall for any receiver coming underneath. If he don't get a receiver that's going to come underneath and that receiver goes vertical, he's going to pivot back. So he's going to check his gap, 45, 45, low wall, low wall. So after he checks, pivots, he's going to pivot back and open to the hook area and then get his eyes on the quarterback. So his technique would be, I see the running back blocking. I'm going to step, check my gap, and then I'm going to open at a 45. I'm going to look low wall, no low wall, no low wall right there. And then I'm going to open and get to the hook area. He's going hook. If he doesn't get a low wall or low wall crosser coming from the backside. So the same thing applies to for the wheel linebacker. Checks his gap, recognizes that it is pass, low wall, low wall, hook. Okay? That's if the running back is blocking. Okay? So if the running back releases for a pass, okay? The running back releases for a pass. The running back releases for a pass. Let's say he runs a flare route and they run in here. This will be Mike. This will be Will. You get that. Just run them off and shallow and they run a box or something like that. Okay? So once he recognizes that it is pass and his back flares, He's going to leverage that back, go on top. He's going to leverage that back. And if they throw it to him, he's going to go make the tackle. Yes, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave this, this guy right here. All right? So, he's, he's, he's leveraging the back. And the rover right here is going to go. He's gonna, once he sees that, he's going to open up a wall. He sees a low wall. If that guy low walls, he's going to take him out. So he's done. He's, he's taking him out. He's eliminated. He's not going to let him get across. Okay? Since he's leveraging and he has a man for man, if, if he goes inside of the rover, the rover's going to check outside. That guy goes vertical. And then he's going to go to curl and then look for anything coming back across. Um, same thing here, he goes inside, he's gonna say in, 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 he's gonna check outside, that guy goes vertical, he's gonna open back up uh, and curl and check for anything coming back across there and he, he's gonna have, have that guy right there. Uh, so that's, that's what that would look like if, if they did that concept. Again, for every defense that we run, there is uh, a weakness for it, but we, uh, you know, I got the pen last, and uh, we'll get that worked out. Rover, weak safety, corner, uh, free safety. So, uh, for rules purposes, if he blocks, check low wall, low wall hook, check low wall, low wall hook, okay? 
If he runs a flat route, if he runs a flat route, he's going to match the route. He's going to match that route. He's going to leverage that route. And he has a man. And then he's going to wall to be a wall-to-wall -wall player. If they uh, switch and bring him over here and do the same thing, uh, the same thing is going to apply. He's going to match that route. And, th and then he's going to check wall-to-wall as well. So the linebacker's rules. If he blocks, I'm going to be a wall to wall to wall player. If he blocks, you are a wall to wall player. If he releases, you have him man. Okay, you have him man. Okay? So hopefully uh, you guys can get that. If you have any questions, um, Moving forward, uh, just just text me after you guys uh, get a chance to to watch this video and look at it. Now, for the down safeties, the rover and the weak safety. Um, let me go all the way back. We we will declare since it's balanced. If it's in the middle of the field, we're going to go to the back. We're going to put our rover to the back. We're going to keep, keep everything the same. So we'll keep the declaration the same. If it's on the hash, uh, we'll put the rover to the field. We'll put the weak safety into the boundary. And then we'll disregard wherever the back is. We don't have to worry about that. And we'll do the same thing for the front. So if he's here and this is... Um, our right hash, okay, we'll just go ahead and say left, and then now Will, he's on your side, if he does that, you got to leverage him, if he does that, you got to cover him, if he blocks, if he blocks, I'm a wall-to-wall -wall player, and then I, I go to hook, I go to hook. All right, now, Getting back, let's say the ball's in the middle of the field, and we have a left call. We have a left call. We're here, Mike, wait, uh, weak safety, rover, corner, uh, free safety. Okay, this is their weak side. We'll do that. All right, so now for the down safety play. Again, let me let me talk about alignment. Uh, for alignment, I want you two yards inside that guy, two yards inside of. Okay, so you're two yards inside him and five to six yards deep. Okay, two yards inside, two inside, uh, five to six deep. Two yards inside, uh, five to six yards, six yards deep on those guys. All right, so now it's called three match. What we're going to do is match the routes of the number two. If number two runs a bubble, you're going to match it. If number two runs a flat route, we're going to match it. If number two runs an out, we're going to match it. If number two goes vertical 10 yards and runs a speed out, we're going to match that. If number two goes vertical, we're going to collision and we're going to match it. Now, the only other thing is when he goes vertical, we have to get our eyes on number one. And we've been working on that in cloud. So when he goes vertical, we got to collision and get our eyes on number one. If number one stops, we're going to go through this guy, pass him off, and then we're going to go to number one. So if you get a hitch out here, in a vertical or a corner route, he's going to collision, carry, and, and as soon as he sees that guy stop, he's going out there and, and, and try to make the tackle. So, going back, in review, he's going to match all routes that's outside. Match, 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 match. If, if he stays vertical, he's going to stay with him. He's going to will and stay with him. Okay? Um, now, if go 
Clean this up. If he goes inside, in front of, if he goes in front of, in front of the linebacker in a low wall set, in a low wall set, he's going to pivot. He's going to say under, under, under. He's going to pivot and look for the snap route, the hitch route, the slant route, and he's and if he doesn't get anything like that, he's going to look back inside for maybe a crosser coming back. And he, he's got to go through all of those things. If he goes in front of the linebackers, okay, he's got to, he's got to think snap, he's got to think hitch, he's got to think slant. Okay? If he goes behind the linebackers, he's got to match it. He's got to match it. So he works inside. He's going to shuffle inside, and if he does that, then i got to pivot back out here. If he turns it up, i got to match it. i got to match it. So we have to work on going underneath or over the top because of that over route that they like to do, we're going to play that over route. we got to be able to play that over route. If he continues to go under like that, and then we're going to plant, and then look outside, and, and then play that. And it's going to happen uh, real fast. Uh, and we'll be able to know if he's doing that or if he's trying to get inside of us and then turn it vertical, we'll be able to stay there. Okay? So uh, simply, on, on these guys, they're going to match the routes. If he goes in front of the linebackers, I'm going to pivot and I'm going to play the snap. I'm going to play uh, the snap route. I'm going to play the hitch route. Uh, I'm going to play the curl route, anything underneath. Okay? So... That, that, that's real simple. Uh, we're not worried about this because the linebackers are going to match that. Okay, the linebackers are going to match that. All right? So, now, moving on to corner, to corner play. Let me clean this up. Corner play. We got left call. Mike Will. Rover. We take the corners. You are two yards inside and then you're eight yards deep. Okay? Two yards inside, eight yards deep. Two yards inside. Free safety is going to be 10 to 12, cheating to the A back side. Okay? And I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, corners, you have number one man for man. Unless he goes shallow now, if he goes shallow now, I'm deep third. Okay? If he goes across, a shallow cross, I'm deep third. Okay? If You get two verticals. You have to be able to play and help out on this one right there. Because he's going to collision, and he's going to be in trail. Once he sees that guy goes vertical, he's going to be in trail. And if they want to throw it over top, you got to be able to break over there. But if they want to throw this one, you got to be able to break on that one. So if you get two verticals, okay, i got to get deep, and I have to be able to play both. If you get a vertical and uh, if you get a vertical and a hitch, you have to play this because he has to play the hitch route. Okay, so basically look at number two. Number two goes vertical. If number two goes vertical, I gotta get I gotta get vertical. If number two goes in side I'm man number two runs the over route I'm man number two runs the vertical route I'm man if number two runs the flat route I'm man so it's very similar to deuce read number two he goes in right now I'm man for man if he continues vertical 
Okay, I'm, I'm thinking man and being to split the zone. If he runs a speed out, I'm still man. So if they go out curl, you gotta play the curl. So you basically have him man unless he goes in now and, or he's vertical and he runs a stop route. So basically you have him man for man. Unless you see this stop route and he's vertical and we gotta get over the top. They're not gonna try to run, uh, they'll be stupid if they wanna try to run the smash route into a cover three look because you're 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 there you got that and then he's 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 got that and they would try to hit that route right there so that's that's it for the corners corner play and then lastly we'll talk about the free safeties and we'll wrap this up if you guys have any questions or concerns uh hit me up and, and let me know and then I will address it. But hopefully um, I've addressed all of those issues and we can move forward and get this thing taught uh, this week. All right, the free safety is going to cheat to the side of the A-back and he's going to be 10 to 12 yards deep. Okay, And he is a fan player. He's a fan player, okay? Fan player is fit as needed. And you're going to be late to the alley, to the weak side, because we got you cheated over here uh, to the A-back side. And the, the reason we do it is, is, is for the RPOs and the zone read stuff. They want to run zone read inside zone, and he comes here. Okay, we're, we're reading that. We're reading this match. If he pulls it, we got a guy that can help play quarterback, and then we got a guy that can fit the alley. Okay, because this is the this is normally the bubble side. They like to run a bubble, okay, and 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 do that stuff, and then they want to read read this defender. Well, uh, since he has to match that, he's got to go. Okay, so. If they want to try to pull him and take him there, okay, and then he wants to pull it, well, you got to fit. You got to be the fitter. You have to be that fitter. And we'll work on that match, uh, and we'll work on those drills, reading this. Um, if he pulls it, and and we got to go, and we got to play that, Rover's got to match that route right there. So that's that's why we want to cheat him to this side and be able to play that. So if they do hand it off, Okay, what did I say earlier? We're going to be a late alley guy. And then you did you do see run? Now I can feel we got enough guys over here. Okay, got enough guys over here, and we can be late and uh, make a four yard tackle if, if they get uh, past our guys right there. But uh, that's three match. If it's pass, you know, they want to fake that and then do all that stuff. Uh, I'm deep third, okay? I'm, I'm deep third, and now uh, it's old school. I'm looking at the quarterback's shoulder, and if they want to try to run uh, four verticals, send those guys in there, send those guys there. You stay in that middle, and you look at and we'll, we'll work on it. You cheat, and when that hand comes up the ball, where's his shoulder? If that shoulder's over here, I can break there. If that shoulder is over here, I can cheat that side and then, and then I can break there. That's a long throw that I have to get there. We got uh, a four or five coming right here and then we got a four or seven coming right there and we got some heat coming coming right there that's gonna uh, put the pressure on those guys. So that's a free safety play. He's deep middle and he's gotta read the shoulder of the quarterback and then, and then play it from there. Um, I know that there are uh, people can scheme us, and, and then we will handle those situations uh, later in the season after people see us running it, and they see us running it enough, and, and then what we'll do, they will have to determine if if we are in a three-match or if we are 
and man free. So now it's it's uh, it's on them uh, what we're in. No, we we can go man free, and then it, it's it's man. They gonna we're gonna match everything. He's gonna match everything. He's gonna match everything. Uh, they want to throw that hitch route and try to do this. See if he can get out there. Well, he'll drive that. And he'll stay on that, and he'll be free over the top. And he's got to make a perfect throw. Once we collision these guys and run with them, that guy's got to make a perfect throw so we can break break right there. Uh, or we can go. Um, if, if they want to do a lot of this and a lot of that and a lot of that or this and try to mix it up, we'll just go old school, cover three on them, and, and then he'll do that, he'll do that. We'll let those guys go, and we'll let those guys do that, and we'll just rally to the ball and um, make the play. So we have answers to things that they can do to hurt us, but early on, uh, we're going to stick with the rules and, and try to do it that way. If you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up. Um, I appreciate you, and uh, we'll we'll get this talk on Monday, uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday and Thursday. We'll, we'll work on it out of trips. And what we're going to do when we get to trips, we're just going to – we won't match it. We'll just go old school cover three. Um You know, if now weeks coming over, we got strong, we got the Z, and that's the X, Q, A. Okay, we'll we'll be in split. We'll tackle, tackle in. We got Mike, Will. He can hit. Now, a uh, rover split the difference between these two. Get up here five yards. Split the difference between those two. Corner, you're still two yards inside, eight yards deep. Free safety. Don't, don't don't worry about this side now. Now I'm gonna to cheat to the trips trip side 10 12 right there. And then we got a weak safety and, and we still have a corner. Corner. If you have if we got three match or three and you got one to your side, you basically have him man for man. Okay? That's the rule. If you have one, you got him man for man. Knowing that I got help on the snap route, I got help on the slant route, I got help on the hitch route, I got help on the curl route. I got underneath help on the on the dig and the post, and I'm over the top, but I got a man for man. Go ahead and cover that guy and, and eliminate him. So I can just take him off. Okay? So if if we get this situation, uh, it is what it is back here, whatever they run, they want to do something like that. Well, he's running right to them, and we got we still got eight guys in the box. So this side is we will simply Go old school, cover three. We're gonna go. We're gonna go curl to flat. We're gonna go hook to curl. He will be a three dropper, and he will drop to the side of of the three receiver side, and he'll be middle hook, okay, and, and play that. And then he's again. He's got this third, and he's got this third, and that that side is taken care of. Uh, we are solid on the run. We got enough guys in the box to take care of the run. And if we can get by in the pass, uh, hold on. So uh, that's what we will work on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Monday will be out of uh, doubles. And then Wednesday and Thursday will be out of trips. And then we'll have it all taken care of. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, hit me up. Uh, and uh, we can definitely talk about it.